Hello YouTube, my name is Oso Guinea Pig. This is not shit, but let's get this shit started. Okay, so today I'm making a video that is long overdue. I am demonstrating my computer. So, let's come over here. You can see this area is completely dark. Um, let's hit the on off switch. There's a light from down there. And now we've got a little bit of light. Um, that area is still a little dark over there, but I'm gonna, you'll see why. I'll show you later. So, um, this mini computer operates off a very simple two-layer menu system, um, and it operates off the same controls, so you can see the cursor is on pick right now, but I can hit down, and it'll go down to add. And likewise, and if I hit down like right now, it's not going to register. It's an invalid entry in, this, in the instruction CPU. Hit up. The cursor will move to pick. It's a little laggy. I tried to use InstaWire where I could, but it still has quite a bit of delay. Okay, the first function that I'm going to show you guys is the pick function. So um, let's go ahead and select that using the universal select button and it's going to display a happy face but this isn't all that it does see this isn't just like a, a ROM entry that was activated this is actually um, random access memory so right here we have um, 16 levers and 16 buttons now what this means is that I can write a row. So let's say there you see the light turned on. Let's see that, 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 and that. So that's a row. Now these 16 buttons describe which row, uh, like because it's 16 by 16 screen, which row I want to write this code to. So let's say I want to write it to the third to last row. Um, because this is higher up on the screen, it will take a little bit longer because of the RAM activators. It, I, it took a little longer going up, but you see that what I've put in with the with the levers is now on the screen. So I um, but the thing is, this will not just e um write over something it will create what is the code is written so it'll completely reset those two bytes of ram and then write over them so if i deselect this and i write to the same row you're going to see that it will in fact not it will in fact change this pixel right here see there we go so, and that's how I drew this happy face. Um, so now let's move on to some of the other functions. So the next thing that I want to show you guys is the addition calculator. That is also part of this mini computer. So let's go ahead and, ahead and hit the back button. And this will bring us back to the main menu of the computer. Now notice how the cursor is over picture where is where is where I last left it off because we had just selected picture however we want to go down to add because we want to access the addition calculator so let's go ahead and hit the down button so this will bring the cursor down and I can now hit the same select button as I used to select the picture function but instead it will select the addition calculator so this calculator backdrop will load up and these lights over here will now turn on because these are the calculator instructions um, so you can see this is pretty straightforward we have one uh, levers up top and levers on bottom and they're all one, labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so um, as you might expect we can punch in a value right here let's say 4 and 4 plus 0 equals 4. Now the lack of a value will always redirect to 0 in the display and the calculator which is pretty useful. 
Um, let's do 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6 it will display 10. Um, let's do one that, say, uh, and oh, and you can also see that when the first value re will redirects to 0, it will add 0 plus 6. Um, let's do a one digit answer, so 2 plus 6. 8. Um, and let's do one more. Let's do a uh, little lag right there. Uh, 7 plus 5. Okay, so you see here we have 7 plus 5 equals 8. Now this happens on a very rare occasion, but I'm actually glad it happened because it allows me to demonstrate some of the fail safes I have set up. So if we come over here, we see there are buttons that say refreshed first value display. So I'll show you what that does. It refreshes the display for the first value. That will help. I'm going to make it day here. Um, that will help be if there is some sort of piston glitch that is keeping one open or it won't let one go. Um, the solu if the solution wrong button, this, bit, this actually uh, refreshes the um, answer for the binary calculator. You see now it's correct. Um, and then there is solution um, refresh second value display, which does the same thing. It just refreshes the display, and then refresh answer value display, and this will just refresh the answer value display. Um, okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do before I demonstrate uh, the wiring is I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button. Now notice two things. The first thing is that it's going to turn off the lights over there now that the calculator is shut off. And it'll bring us back to the menu, but the cursor will be over add because that's what we just selected. Um, and then we can use the same on off button to, well, turn off the computer. And the lights will turn off and the screen will turn off. So, um, in this part of the video, I'm going to start showing around the circuitry of the computer and uh, talking a little bit about how different components work. So, you can either check out my channel right now and some of my other videos, or go do something else, or if you want to stick around and see some of the wiring, or you want to understand how different parts of it work, well then stick around for this next part.